Welcome back to day 10 of the 31 Days of Horror series. Today we're diving into the film that redefined the slasher genre and made you scared to fall asleep. Wes Craven's 1984 film, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Fucking cock in my fucking shit. God. Mary. You okay, man? I'm sorry. This is my nightmare. This movie isn't just a classic. It's a goddamn legend. It took the slasher formula and amped it to a thousand by making the killer now appear in your dreams and being able to kill you from them. Good luck escaping the head. Let's start with the main attraction, the villain, Freddy Krueger played by the one and only Robert fucking England. England wasn't just wearing makeup and a fedora, he was embodying this terrifying twisted character with the kind of energy that made Freddy more than just another mad psycho. Freddy was different. He wasn't lurking in the shadows, he was right there in your face, cracking jokes while dragging a claw glove across metal pipes just to make your skin crawl. England brought personality to the role, and that's what made Freddy so damn scary. He's not just hunting you, he's enjoying it while doing it. Now about changing the game. A Nightmare on Elm Street took slasher flicks to a whole new level by adding a supernatural element that never had been done before quite like this. It wasn't just about who's going to get slashed next. It was about whether or not you even survive the night because, guess what? You can't outrun the guy. Freddy comes at you when you're asleep, and we all know trying to stay awake forever just isn't happening. It made the stakes feel so much higher because no one, and I mean no one, can escape their own nightmares. Wes Craven did something special here by making the horror psychological as well as physical. You got these surreal dream sequences where you don't know what's real. Walls are stretching, faces are coming out of ceilings. And let's not forget the damn bathtub scene. If that didn't make you paranoid about falling asleep, nothing will. And let's talk about how Nightmare paved the way for other films in the genre. This wasn't just a watch teens get hacked up slasher. It had a twisted nightmarish quality that pushed the boundaries of what horror could be. Freddy became a cultural icon and the franchise exploded, inspiring countless sequels, parodies, and knockoffs. Hell, they even crossed over him and Jason Voorhees later on. Because of course! So if you haven't revisited a Nightmare on Elm Street lately, do yourself a favor. Go back and see why this film isn't just another slasher flick. It's a game changer that still holds up today. Just don't blame me if you have trouble falling asleep after. You shut up! I'm so fucking scared right now, you shut up! Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.